Janine. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tagtorial. It's a little bit different, I know. Look at the background. Not, not much going on, but it's kind of a blah day for me. I have kind of been a little bit unmotivated lately to do videos, and I've just been a little bit down. Around my birthday, I get, a little, I get sad because, you know, I think about my mom and her not being here, so it's been kind of hard, and I've just been lacking the motivation to do anything, really. This happens every time though. This happened last year too. I had so many videos to record and I have so many things that I need to record videos on all of my haul videos. But today I'm going to be doing a tag tutorial. I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. And I think I'm going to do that first and then get into the tag because I'm like ADD and it's going to be hard for me to do the tag and the tutorial at the same time. So I'll just start off with that. As you guys can see, I am bare faced. I don't have anything on my face right now besides a little bit of chapstick. And I did fill in my brows because, girl, these brows be looking sparse, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. A lot of these products I need to re up on because they're like really low right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and start off with my Mario Badesco uh, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This stuff is awesome. I don't really recommend this as a setting spray, I don't find that it actually that it holds my makeup very well, at least for me in the state of Florida, y'all. And um, it's just the way that it sprays out, it's not like a fine mist. You, you kind of get like big drops on your face that mess up your makeup. So I'm just gonna start out by priming my face and like just refreshing because this stuff is so nice. If you're out at the pool at the beach or anything like that, this is something great to have along in your beach bag or your pool bag because I find that it does a really good job of just overall hydrating and refreshing your face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize and today I'm gonna be using the Clinique Turnaround Daytime Revitalizing Moisturizer. This stuff is really great. Um, I'm kind of basic when it comes down to moisturizers and stuff like that. I got this like really cheap at the cosmetics company store when I was in Orlando. But I also use the Lush, what do I use? Magical Morninga. I think that's what it's called. If not, I'll, I'll put everything down below. So I'm just going to moisturize. In the morning, you should wash your face really well. Start off with a, um, which I already did. I already uh, washed my face and moisturized. You can skip the hydrating step. It's just that yesterday I was out at the pool and I just feel dehydrated, y'all. Hope you guys' this day is going well. Today is the eclipse. Everybody's afraid of losing their eyesight. People are selling 3D glasses from the movies for like $100 on offer up. Are you guys smoking crack? Like, they give those to you for free. I mean, I don't know. People are cracker. As y'all know, if I'm wearing a headband, that means my gray roots are still not colored. Mm -hmm. The next product that I'm going to go ahead and use is the Get Corrected Hydrating CC Corrector and it's by Femme Couture and the color is Apricot. I got this at Sally's for I believe like $6.99 or $7.99 or something like that. And this is like really super hydrating if you guys have dark circles like I do. This stuff works really great just to like start off before you do any of your makeup. I like to get in here and kind of correct um, those dark circles because this is a very minimal look, but if I'm not going to put much makeup at all, I will always color correct and put some concealer under my eyes, y'all, because my eyes just are so dark underneath. You could even use your fingers, which I think I'm going to do that because I feel like the product just absorbs too much in that sponge. You know what I'm saying? I love this sponge, you guys. I have the beauty blenders, the real beauty blenders, and I gravitate more towards this. And I got this at like Michael's for like $3.99. And that just goes to show you guys that you don't need to spend so much money on beauty tools. Um, if you can find dupes or if you can find something that, you know, you feel like works better. That's just my opinion. I feel like I need to do this side a little better because that sponge soaked it up. I'm going to try not to edit too much in this video also. So, you guys see me saying um, um, um a lot. Um, I do that. I edit those out because I say it a lot. So, I'm just going to get that in there with my finger. I just find, like, I find that this product 
works better into my face um, with my finger as opposed to with a sponge or a brush. And you guys can already see how it's dramatically changed my overall appearance. Like, just color correcting and canceling out the darkness in your eyes automatically gives you, like, an awakened, revitalized look. Which I love. I love to look like I got rest and I, you know, my dark circles are not from lack of sleep. That's just hereditary. I've always had those. Okay, the next product that I'm going to be using is the Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And this is a nude glow. I got this as a sample when I purchased a bunch of, I purchased the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask and um, I got a couple of other like little free item samples to use. And this is just like, if you don't wanna wear um, foundation or you want something like very light and sheer on your face, this is really great. It's almost like a moisturizer, but it has like a slight tint to it. Um, you can see it's not my color at all, but you see once I um, blend it in with my fingers, I'm just using my fingers today, you guys, for everything. You'll see that it just gives you a very sheer coverage. So if you need something that's more full coverage or medium to full coverage, if you're trying to cover scars or acne or blemishes or anything like that, you might not like this, but if you're somebody that just wants a light, very sheer coverage and you're looking for a more minimal look and you don't want anything heavy on your face, this is a great option. I got this as a sample and I really, really love it and the smell. You guys, it smells so good. It just smells like something tropical. It smells really, really nice. And you can just see it just gives like an overall like glow and luminance. Luminous? Is that a word? Luminous um, glow to the skin. It just looks makes your... I feel like it makes my skin look like super healthy and I, I really like it. So now that we've got that down, I am going to go in with my concealer and I feel like my color corrector did an awesome job actually. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me and it's in the color 20 which is Sand Sable. I've been using it lately. Um, if you guys seen my video on the Maybelline Fit Me versus the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, if you haven't I'll go ahead and link it up above so you guys can check that out. But I've been using this one a lot more lately. And I just feel like it just gives a nice brightened under eye look. Once you find your shade, depending on what you're looking for in a concealer, if you want something that's going to brighten the other under eye, or if you just want something that conceals, like you don't want that YouTube like bright under eye look, once you figure out what you're looking for and then get your right shade, um, it makes all the difference because the wrong shade can make you not like the overall appearance at all. I didn't put any down my nose today, but I'm just using the excess on the sponge just to brick it into my nose and my forehead. I was out at the pool yesterday, like I said, so I wanna keep that sun-kissed glow that I got going on here and sometimes I will just leave my makeup like this I'll put some mascara on and be done with it but I'm gonna be a little bit more today a little bit extra oh I need my brushes y'all hold on okay I'm back I'm gonna go ahead and set that um, concealer just because I know this is supposed to be a minimal look but if you want your concealer to stay throughout the day especially if you're out in the heat and you're sweating you need to set it um, I'm using the Mac prep and prime translucent setting powder here's the back of it in case y'all want to see I've actually been using this a lot more lately over the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder if you need something that won't dry out your under eyes you need to use a setting powder that doesn't have talc in it and this one does not have talc in it so it's really really fine like dust almost you guys unlike the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder it has talc in it I just find that sometimes it just dries my under eyes. Like I won't pack it underneath either. If you pack it underneath, um, that will dry out your under eyes a little bit more than usual. So I just lightly dust it underneath with this brush that I got from Real Techniques. It is the Real Techniques setting brush. 
So I'll just kind of go under my eyes and my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin where I get oily. I'm just going to wipe it away. So I'm not baking, y'all. Oh my goodness. This stuff goes everywhere, though. All right. Moving on. I'm going to go in with the Model Co. Goodness. The Model Co. Blush in Peach Bellini. really a pretty color it's like a nice peach look I've been using this a lot lately and I really like it just gives you like a nice little peach glow you should like start from the temples and then work your way into the middle of your eye right here which is probably around the apples of your cheeks. I drag it down to my chin, my nose, and I get it on my forehead as well. It just gives me a nice, healthy glow. I like this one a lot. Next, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Exposed Highlight. It is an Amazonian clay highlighter. I really love this. It's really, really a light highlight. I'll show you guys a swatch. And it's more like a just nice, it's not like you can make this, you can intensify it as much as you want, but if you use it with the brush, it just goes on really like a natural highlight. And that's what I want. I want a minimal look today. I want it to look like I don't have any makeup on at all. I want it to look like I woke up this way, okay? Like I was born this way. Like Lady Gaga. I'm totally using my camera to do my makeup, you guys, so. Somebody's cooking oatmeal. <laughs> Cause I smell that maple brown sugar, y'all. You know the little instant Quaker oats, the maple brown sugar, oatmeal. When they cook it, when the kids cook it, I can smell it right away. Next, I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance, my go-to every day. If I only could have one makeup, one eyeshadow palette, it would be this one. I love it. I'm going to just go in with the burnt orange right here. I'm going to use the brush that comes in it. Lightly tap. Wipe off the excess. I didn't use any primer in my eyes, y'all. Because I don't want a lot of eyeshadow on my eyes. I just want to make my eyes look a little bit more awake. I'm going in with a little bit of this color. We'll do that for me. You can see the difference between that eye and that eye, like right away. I do this a lot when I'm off or... If I'm just like shopping and running errands and stuff like that, I won't put a lot of makeup on. I kind of try to give my face a rest because I do get eczema on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see some of these bumps right here. It's not acne, it is eczema. It's itchy. It's like a rash. Um, so I try to give my skin a break. You should give your skin a break, you guys. If you wear a lot of makeup or if you're watching a lot of YouTube makeup tutorials, you'll start buying all kinds of products, you'll start wearing all kinds of products. And since I've been doing that, my face has just been, my skin has not been that great. So, you know, I try to give myself a break from makeup and you should, you need to let your skin breathe and take a break sometimes, okay? So you guys can see, it's not a lot, it's not like a dramatic change, but it did do a little bit of something. I just want to add a little bit of color and look a little bit more awake, basically. I'm going to use the other end of that brush and I'm going to go back into my Tarte highlighter and just get under my brow bone just for a little brow highlight. It's not dramatic and then I'm going to get my inner corner as well.
I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did reshape my brows. I was trying to grow them out, so that's why they were looking a little thicker and a little bit um, just not even. You know what I mean? And that's because I was going through the stages, y'all. You know how it is when you have to grow your eyebrows out. Even though they're moisturized right now with chapstick, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I exfoliate them. You in order to have good looking makeup, you need to have good looking skin. So you gotta make sure that you're taking care of your skin by moisturizing, by washing, exfoliating, hydrating, doing masks, all of that stuff, because that's really just gonna help your makeup look a lot better. But you also wanna exfoliate your lips, especially if you're using a lot of those matte lipsticks, those matte lipsticks can dry your lips out, girl. So today I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Um, it just says clear underneath, but I will show you guys how this looks. It definitely is an exfoliator and you guys can see all of these little bits and pieces. It's almost like sand in here. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Can I get you to focus though? Can y'all see that? And it almost feels like sand going on your lips. They have like scrubs, I have Lush scrubs, I have scrubs that Ipsy sent me and other subscriptions have sent me. So, this has like a sweet like vanilla, coconut, cocoa butter smell to it. Tastes good too. For lipstick, I just want, like I said, something light. I don't know if they still sell this because I bought this at a flea market like probably a year ago. I did a flea market haul. I love finding makeup at flea markets and different types of markets like that. This is the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lipstick in 340, which is to nude or not to nude. I mean, you find whatever you want to find as far as a nude lipstick, but it's really a nice moisturizing lipstick. I love it or if you have a tinted moisturizer, tinted gloss, something to keep your lips nice and healthy looking. And you guys can see it's just an overall healthy, luminous, vibrant glow. There's nothing too dramatic about my makeup. It's just something very light. My skin feels very hydrated, very moisturized. Can you stay on my head though? My skin feels very hydrated and very healthy, and I love that. Last but not least, because I have really small eyes, I always try not to leave the house without curling my lashes and putting on some mascara. I might have to fast forward this part because I just think it's weird looking at somebody curl their lashes. I mean, I put it on there, get close to the lash band where they're growing out of, and I push down and I do a couple pumps. And you can see already, look at the difference that curling your lashes does. It's awesome. I'm going to go in with the IT Superhero Mascara. I love this. I got it in one of my Ipsy's and I've been using it all the time. I like to go in with my mascara right after I um, curl my lashes because if I curl both lashes, I find like that they will start to like wilt a little bit. So I try to get in there with my mascara right after I curl. And you can see what a difference curling your eyelashes and then not and no mascara. Like you see how much of a difference that makes like that's why I just do it make sure you get it down at the base of your um, lashes and then blink onto it I like doing that technique it works for me and don't forget underneath that's it I mean I know this is a long Oh my god this tutorial is so long I'm gonna have to fast forward it you guys I said I wasn't gonna edit it but I'm editing it whatever oh my god you guys how could I forget I need to make it last with the Milani make it last setting spray if you want a drugstore 
setting spray. This is great. And y'all look, I've been using it. Okay. Because even though I don't have much makeup on, I don't want all that I did to go to waste. And I want it to stay in place. I want it to look like I'm not wearing that much makeup all day long. Mm, mm, mm. I was tagged by Rosa's Fashion Beauty. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you for tagging me. I have to admit, I wasn't in like the best spirits to do this. But I opened my blinds. I opened my windows because I was in a dark room just feeling sad and thank you for tagging me I really appreciate you and I appreciate you thinking about me and loving me that much um, so I am gonna go ahead and do the tag so I need to get my computer so I can read the questions I'll be right back basically there's five questions and the first question is what three in what three youtubers inspire you um, three youtubers that inspire me I watch Big YouTubers, smaller YouTubes, YouTubers in between. So I'm going to kind of like tell you who inspires me. The first YouTuber that inspires me is Sarah Ray Vargas. I've been watching her for years. Um, uh, she's probably like the, I'm, well, I know that she's the first YouTuber that I ever subscribed to. I relate to her like on so many levels. She is a plus size YouTuber. She is a single mom. She takes care of her two of her kids. And she basically started her YouTube from... The ground up and when I started watching her I think she had like 200,000 plus subscribers now she's like at 700,000 plus subscribers but I really love her oh I love her her character her personality she's super funny super chill some somebody that I would definitely see myself hanging out with um, but I just love her positive attitude about her body her shape her weight to me I see her as a positive person she's very positive has a positive outlook about her weight and she doesn't try to, you know, hide her weight, but she does a lot of hauls and she does videos um, and buys clothes that make her feel good and make her look good in her skin without like, she doesn't try to like buy clothes to make herself look skinny. She buys clothes that are comfortable in fashion. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from her on just styling myself, on where to shop clothes that are trendy um, because you know when you're a plus size girl it's really hard to find clothes that are a affordable b look good and c that are in style because a lot of you know of these I guess department stores or companies don't really target the plus size um, woman you know they're really targeting like the smaller you know model trendy what's in and I find that you know to buy clothes in my size I have to pay a lot of money or um, it's not in style. And I'm not a grandma. I'm not an old lady. No offense to anybody that is older. Um, I'm in my 30s. Um, I don't dress like a teenager, but I don't dress like an old lady either. I want to dress my age. I want to wear things that are in style, in fashion. Um, and I get, I just love watching her. I just, I love her. And um, I'm going to go ahead and link um, all of these YouTubers and the questions and everything down below. My second uh, YouTuber that inspires me, I would have to say um, is Keeping It Simple with Bridget. I mean, I know that Rosa Yu um, also said that she inspired you, but she inspires me so much. I really love Bridget. I love watching her makeup tutorial. She does makeup tutorial reviews on um, makeup products, but I especially love watching her makeup tutorials. She's amazing and she's so talented. She, I don't know how many subscribers she has, but she should have way more subscribers than she does have, even though I don't know how many she has. But I get a lot of inspiration in her on like, dramatic eyes bold eyes colorful eyes um you know you guys i'm i'm a natural girl i stay with my my natural colors my this right here my modern renaissance colors um but she really inspires me to like step out of my comfort zone and i have not used the palette that she sent me in the giveaway but y'all please keep a lookout for that like i said i was having a down day or down couple of days weeks um but i am doing this video because I'd be damned if I'd be sitting in a dark ass room y'all hell no hell to no but I love Bridget I love her personality she's so sweet I can totally see myself hanging out with her as well she has such a loving great personality like you can tell that she just has a good spirit and a good heart and I just love what she does with her makeup especially her eyes I just love her eyes it's my favorite um part of her makeup looks last but not least my this is like my number one favorite um or 
YouTuber that inspires me. Actually, they're YouTubers. There's two of them. And they are Kids Being Random. If you guys did not know, these are my kids. And my kids inspire me every single day to get up every single day and be the person that I am, to be the mother that I dream of being because I want them to have the best life that they can, have a good, healthy home, a loving home, feel loved, feel valued, and they inspire me every day just to get up and keep moving. They make me laugh. If you guys haven't seen their videos, you guys should. If you guys have kids, they do all kinds of things. They've kind of haven't been posting as much um, over the last couple of months, but um, they record, they um, edit, and put up their own videos. They come up with everything all on their own. I don't help them at all. So everything that they do on their channel is all themselves. They do it all by themselves, and they're super funny. Um, they do product reviews, toys, um, gadgets, short videos. They, they do everything. That's why it's just called Kids Being Random because it's just random. They do whatever comes into their mind and they do a lot of like video games like the um, Minecraft and I forget the other one. I don't know how I could forget because they play it all the time, but you guys should check them out. Um, you'll love them. And those are my babies. They're my pride and joy. So I would appreciate if you guys should, did visit them and shout them out and tell them that their mama sent them. Oh that their mama sent you, okay? Okay, question number two, what things are you good at? I would say number one, I'm really good at making people laugh. I can tell when people are down, I can tell when they're not having a good day, um, or just like they're just bored, like especially at work, I crack jokes, I like to have fun at work, and I will go out of my way to make somebody laugh and to make them feel good. I feel like I do, I'm good at that. My sister told me once when I was younger, she came to visit me, um, when she lived in New York, she came to visit me in Florida when I was like preteen. And when she left, she left me a note on the nightstand that said, um, I had so much fun. You made me laugh so much. And she told me that I should be a clown for sick kids. And I was like, what? I didn't know how to take that. I should be a clown. Like, what do you mean? Like for sick kids. But what she really meant was that I have a gift of making people laugh and bringing happiness and joy to people. So that's what she meant by that. I don't see it as much here on this channel, but I do make people laugh. That's what I do all the time. The second thing that I'm good at is I'm really good cook. I love to cook. That was um, one of the choices that I had as a profession when I was in high school. I wanted to be a chef. Um, so that's always been a passion. I love cooking. I love being creative when it comes to the kitchen. Um, I love foods that look beautiful on a plate and colorful. I feel like you eat with your eyes first. Um, I just love foods, flavors, tastes. Um, I love all types of food. I'm not just like strictly um, Hispanic food. I love Italian food. I love Indian food. I love all types of food, Thai food. Um, I just feel like that is the way to bring cultures together, to bring people together is around a table with a good meal, a delicious meal. And it's just nice to sit around with people and drink and laugh and eat food. And, you know, like those are the memories that I have growing up as a child is sitting around the table with my family eating. So that's just something that's very like sacred to me, important to me. And I just, I love food. Can y'all tell? The third thing that I'm really good at, I would say, hmm, I think I'm good at just in general engaging with people. Um, I've always been outgoing and talkative and I've never been scared to put myself out there so just that's opened a lot of doors for me because I'm not shy um, I'm not that reserved I can talk to a stranger I can talk to anyone about anything I think that you can find something in anyone that you could relate to or that you could get from them anybody could get anything from anyone in a conversation sometimes people look and may think or have like a perception but if you talk to someone you can really get to know somebody and there may be something or a couple of things that you may find in common or that they could teach you or that they could help you with you know that happens a lot and you don't know until you talk to someone and I feel like just smiling at people and talking to people in general you never know what somebody's going through you don't know what they're going through in their life so just smiling and talking to someone could totally lift them up brighten their days so 
if you see someone that looks down or see someone that looks sad, you know, talk to them, smile to them, say, you know, hope you have a blessed day or have a great day, you know, how are you doing today? They could be a perfect stranger, but you know what? That could totally change their world, change their life um, that day for them, you know? Let's move on to the next question. What three things are you excited about? I'm excited about the future. A lot of people are afraid of the future. I'm not afraid of the future. I don't fear the future. I don't fear what the world is going through. I am cautious about what's going on, but I'm excited about the changes that are coming um, in my future. I'm excited about things that are around the corner, although I don't know everything that can happen. I'm just excited about um, the future because I know that good things are coming. I believe um, if you believe that good things are coming and you put that out, I believe that it will come back to you. And I'm just excited um, to see, you know, I'm a person that I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid about tomorrow. I don't worry about tomorrow. I embrace tomorrow and I'm happy and excited about tomorrow and what tomorrow brings. So um, that's one thing that I'm excited about. Two, I'm excited about my channel, although it does make me sad sometimes because, you know, as a smaller YouTube YouTuber, you put a lot into your um, channel. You put a lot of time, effort, editing, creating, money, um, and sometimes you don't see the fruit of your labor. And as much as that hurts me sometimes, um, I am excited about it. I am excited because I've had a lot of companies reach out to me. People have messaged me and reached out to me and emailed me personally to ask me questions or to just say thank you. Um, and that, and you know, reading the comments that I get from the videos that I've done, um, that inspires me and that excites me to do more with my channel. And I'm excited for the growth of my channel and I'm not going to give up. And that's one thing I'll tell you if you are being, if you are feeling discouraged about your channel, don't give up. If you give up, you'll never know what can happen. You'll never know what will become of your channel. You know, sometimes in the beginning, I feel like a lot of people don't know what their their niche is for their channel, what it's, what direction it's going in. And like, I'm kind of like in that same boat. I don't know what my specialty or like my niche for my channel is yet. Um, you guys, if you've been with me for a while, you see I do all kinds of videos on everything. So I haven't really found that yet. And I know that once I do, I'll just run with it and then boom, it'll just be like fireworks and this Janine's life will grow. So I'm excited about that. Another thing that I'm excited about, these are kind of hard questions because you don't really think about this on a daily basis. You know, you just kind of like live life every day, but this is a good way to like get you motivated and get you inspired. So I'm glad that you tagged me, Rosa. Another thing that I'm excited about, I'm excited about moving, although I don't know where or when I'm moving. I know that we are moving. We are going to move at some point out of Florida. We've never bought a home um, and we don't feel like Florida is the place for us, although all of our families here, that's what keeps us here is our family. That's what brought us back to Florida. But we've lived outside of Florida and being outside of Florida and seeing all the different, you know, places and people and culture and things to do and just that excites me. Um, it just excites me to know that there are so many possibilities. There are so many things available, um, things that you feel are out of your reach or out of your grasp. Um, or that you don't think that you can do or accomplish or achieve. You can. You can do it. Sometimes you have to really step outside of your comfort zone and outside of your box and just do it. Like I've had to just, ju we've had to just, we did it. We, you know, we did things. We've um, experienced so much because we took risks and we took chances. And that took a lot of guts and it look, took a lot of planning and it took a lot of prayer um, but we did, we did, we did a lot of things. Um, if you guys want to know about that it has to do with my profession and what I do. Um, and I haven't really touched on that cause I'm kind of a private person when it comes to my personal life, but I will, um, open that door at some point. Um, if people are interested and want to know, so y'all let me know. Okay. The next question is what do you like to do to relax? I love spending time with my family. Um, anytime I'm with my family, I feel relaxed. I feel at ease. I feel at home. I feel comfortable. When I feel those things, when I feel my love, my family, my kids, my husband, that makes me feel relaxed. Um, two, I love going to the beach, um, to the beach or to the pool. I love to be out in nature. Um, I love to hike. That's the third thing that we like to do. We like to go out and hike or um, just be out 
in the wilderness looking at animals, birds, butterflies. Um, we've seen so many creatures, deers, hummingbird, moths, and all kinds of things that we've never seen like in person just by being outdoors. And it's just so relaxing. And I just feel like creation itself is beautiful. It's amazing and it's calming and it's just you know, to just behold the beauty of the world, the ocean, the sky, the trees, flowers, the colors. It's just beautiful to me. It's like food, you know, seeing food on a plate. It's just beautiful. And it just captivates your, your eyes and your heart. And I love that. It just relaxes me. So those are the three things that relax me. Five YouTubers that I'm going to tag. Okay, so the first person that I'm going to tag is Davila Family. Um, it's actually, I don't know her name. Like, I don't know her first name um but i have been watching you for a long time and i always see you with your children she's a very loving mom she's always with her kids she does a lot of vlogs um with her kids and a lot of fun things with her children and she does a lot of like fitness and makeup tutorials as well um if you guys want to check her out you should check her out and subscribe to her but i am tagging you girl and i would love to hear your um your responses and what inspires you i love watching you and seeing you with your children i think that you're such a wonderful mom and you could totally see the love that you have in your home with your kids your kids are gorgeous i love your kids i love watching them um the next person that I'm going to tag is Faye Blatcher. Hey girl, hey. If you guys don't know Faye, which I know a lot of you do, um, she does a lot of tutorials and product reviews and she's hilarious. She is hilarious. She must be like the funniest person that I watch up on YouTube. So girl, I'm tagging you. The next person that I'm going to tag is Makeup and Potions. And I know your name, girl. Your name is uh, Venice which is like Venus, but I think Venice in Spanish. You might not see this yet because I know that you're on vacation and I know that you guys are driving all around Florida. So you might not see this yet, but when you do see it in your back home, girl, I'm tagging you. She does awesome makeup tutorials and she has the most beautiful little baby girl. You guys need to check her out. Her baby is adorable and I know it's been hard for her to upload because she does have a little baby that she's caring for, but I think that she, she's such a funny, she's funny too, guys. She's funny. She's, she's funny. She reminds me a lot of some of my cousins that I have um, with her accent. I love her accent. I love accents just all together. I'm tagging you, girl. Next person that I'm going to tag is Pages and Polish. Hey, girl. I don't know your first name either. I'm really bad with names. That's one thing I should have told y'all a long time ago. Pages and Polish, if you guys haven't seen her channel, she does a lot of reviews um, or a lot of videos on like books. She does vlogs, teas, makeup, nail polishes, y'all, pages and polish. You know, she does a lot of book reviews. So if you're a book reader, I'm not, but she's an uh, avid book reader and she does a lot of reviews on books and nail polishes, y'all. If you guys are into nail polishes and makeup and she has beauty subscriptions, so she's always showing new products as well. Um, also, Phyllis Brown, which I'm new to Phyllis's channel, but I think she's such a lovely person. She's a godly woman. She's a Christian. So if you guys need uplifting and you need some guidance, her channel is a very nice channel to go to. I wasn't feeling very well, like I told you guys, and I came across her channel and it just made me feel a lot better. Um, she's a very sweet woman. So you guys, I'm tagging you to do this video on what inspires you. I'll leave all of the questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, for loving me. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. My subscribers are growing and I'm so happy. I have been purchasing things here and there along the way for my thousand subscriber giveaway. So that is coming. It's coming soon, you guys. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.